Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to export maps and asset facts from the Unreal Editor to Merlin, which also really explains Merlin's reason for existing in the first place and why people might want to use it. So we have an article up on our website that goes into more detail on how this works and why, but the purpose of this video is just to demonstrate it in practice. What you need first of all is a map and some assets made in the Unreal Editor, and there's lots of ways that you could make or acquire these. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be demonstrating the process using a free pre-made map from the Unreal Marketplace. We're also going to be using something called the Merlin SDK, which is basically just an Unreal Editor plugin that makes parts of this process easier and enables us to do certain things. Uh, but you could also just use un regular Unreal packaging processes or even package Unreal files from other games in certain cases. Now, what you need first of all is to make sure that the content folder that you're using contains all of the assets referenced by any maps inside it. Uh, this is so that if, say, this cigar model isn't in the package, then what you'll get when you load the map in Merlin is just a, a missing model error, like in Gary's mod or something. Marketplace maps like this one install is a self-contained package, so here we don't need to worry about this. Everything that we need is contained in the cigar room folder. Then in the root of this content folder, you can make a Merlin package file like this, uh, and then open it and tell it to find all of the assets in its directory, and it should generate thumbnails and names for all of them, which you can also customize. Then you need to cook all of the files, which is basically just Unreal's way of uh, archiving the assets. Uh, and then you can click make pack file inside the package object. And that is the bare minimum that needs to be done to make a package file that can then be read by Merlin. The other thing that the Merlin SDK does is it allows us to add hooks to trigger scripting and other events so that we can basically use Unreal blueprints or any other Unreal tools that we want to add stuff to maps built for Merlin. Uh, so for example in this room we could just make this door open and closable by adding a merlin component to it and then adding some basic scripting and then now it's interactable when we open this asset file inside merlin so now that we have this package file we can open it in merlin itself by going to the collections menu and making merlin aware of its location uh, and then we can browse the contents of the package then you can create a new campaign add the asset pack to the campaign along with any other asset packs that we have uh, make a level which uses the newly created level as its base level and then launch this level And now to demonstrate here in Merlin we have the openable door we have the spawnable assets and we have Spawnable assets from other asset packs that we haven't added to this asset pack in the first place So that's the basic idea. It's interoperability between uh, different packs of assets and the ability to use all of Unreal's scripting capabilities and uh, map creation capabilities in the creation of um, VTT style games. So that's all for now. Uh, we should have some more updates soon. <laughs> Shut up, stop looking at me. We'll have some more updates out soon. Remember to follow our various social media channels in order to get notifications about the updates. Uh, and that's all for now. See you soon.